to another episode of Yeah, No, I Know. But before we get started, a little disclaimer. Nothing in this podcast is being claimed as fact. Most everything discussed here are our own individual, personal opinions, beliefs, and experiences. We encourage you to always do your own research and form your own opinions. Nothing one person says on this podcast goes for everyone here. Each individual speaking is speaking only for themselves and no one else on the podcast. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Yeah, No, I Know. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, we are also available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And if you're listening on those and you want a visual, um, we're also on YouTube. So you can check it out. We've got Jensen here, uh, Brooklyn's son with us today. So he's going to be giving his opinions. <laughs> Got his two cents. He's like his mama. He likes to talk. Yeah, yeah. He's got an opinion. I just also wanted to put on the record that I got him to laugh like so many times a little bit ago, he and I was you. pretty proud of myself. He's a ladies' man already. He, like he likes blondes. Yeah, he yeah. Likes blondes. I was changing at her house and putting leggings on the other day, and he like oh, was yeah. laser focused on my ass. Yeah. Yes, I think you gave my son his first. <laughs> no, crush. Right? Oh yeah, crush. That's what I was gonna oh, say. Yeah, that's what she was gonna say. All right, I guess I'm the one with the dirty mind. No, that's not what I was going to say. Got it. <laughs> no, it didn't. Uh, yeah, say, Brooklyn, Brooklyn's going there. Okay. <laughs> I know what you meant. I was picking up what you were putting down. Oh, my gosh, Jensen. <laughs> he I knows. Knew. He knows, like, we're rolling. I know. I know. He's so opinionated. <laughs> He's it's, three months old, you guys. I don't know. If moms, is this normal for three months old? They're really cute noises, though. They are cute. Oh, like, he was not this talkative. Now no. we start filming. And he's no. like, he wants to be heard, you guys. He pressed record and yeah. he's off. He's um, famous. <laughs> we want to do a quick disclaimer um, that I'm going to start putting these verbally um, in the episode. So if you heard this one, heard it on this one already, great. But basically, we're chit-chatting like we're girlfriends, like we're your girlfriends. Um, nothing we say on here is meant to be, like necessarily taken to heart it's not medical it's not necessarily always fact a lot of this is our own opinions our own stories um and something that's my opinion that i talk about on this may be completely different uh to brooklyn's or jenna's and vice versa what they say they're not speaking for me um that's that's kind of what this episode is all about you can be friends and hang out with other people <laughs> that have differing opinions and differing religions or whatever and get along and still have a good time and put all of that stuff to the side whether it's politics whatever and just enjoy each other's company. Yes. Yeah. It's all about respect and everything. So we were talking about this in the salon today and we were like, okay, we're just going to film an off the cuff episode and talk about it because it just seemed like the right time. Yeah, exactly. Especially, you know, with the holidays coming around and <laughs> with the holidays coming around is a great point because you are, you want to enjoy the holidays and with everything just kind of supercharged right now around Religion, segregation, mm -hmm. like politics, vaccines, like, vaccines, <laughs> like you name it, it's yeah. it's happening right now, right? So yeah. to try and like, I feel like there's just a lot of divide going on, and you know, I don't want to have to experience that hanging out with family and friends like for the holidays. Like I want to just be able to enjoy those people that I love. Like I, one of my friends posted on um, Facebook, like if you voted for Trump, you better unfollow me, and I was sitting there thinking to myself. So he's willing to throw away friendships mm. that, he, that he's had for decades mm -hmm. because of who someone voted for. And I was just really surprised because no matter, like, it doesn't, even if you voted for the leader on Mars Attacks, I'd be like, all right, you know what? I don't necessarily agree, but we right. still have this yeah. friendship that we've cultivated. <laughs> I respect you for you and your opinions. And we've had a lot of fun together. Like why throw that away? So yeah. anyways, kind of went off on a tangent there, but <laughs> I just watched Mars attacks the other day. And, I was like, <laughs> well, when, I'm, and I'm curious, like, cause if I already hear somebody say that they voted for a particular candidate, I would never assume that I understand their whole belief system, all of their mm -hmm. morals, what exactly what they believe in. I would never be like, Oh, well, they must be this and they must think this and they must be whatever. So it's hard when people do that about you, especially with us kind of putting ourselves out there and, you know, we're going to be talking about a lot of things and, mm -hmm. you know, we just want to be here to support you guys and tell our stories and in no way, shape or form does that mean that we think that's what you should think or you should believe or you should right. do. That's just our own experiences and we all 
there there is no exact truth it's mm -hmm. all perspective so yeah. you're gonna have your perspective we're gonna have ours you're gonna have yours you're gonna have yours and that is your truth period and that's so, what makes the world go around and that's what right. you have to respect like yeah we don't all want to be the same that'd be so boring yeah. no i hate that people are like oh don't talk politics don't talk religion don't talk. it's like Teach Why? me. Are we adults? Like, yeah, can't we talk about me. it? Like, we With can... respect, you can talk exactly. about it. Exactly. And you can even debate about it, and I think that's okay. People forget that, like, it's okay to not agree on everything. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I'm right and you're wrong, mm -hmm. or vice versa. It means we just have different views and opinions on things. Like, right. one, like my best friend in the entire world, um, who... Oh, it's so funny. I can say she's getting engaged this weekend. She just doesn't know it. She's getting engaged all the time. You to listen to this. <laughs> Congrats. Um, yeah, we have very, like, polar opposite views on politics. And we even lived together during, like, a huge election season. And, like, we... Just on election day, we, like, don't talk. Like, right. you know, but other yeah. than that, like... You guys could, though. Like, that's the whole point oh, of what you just said. Like, you can get along yeah. and... We just kind of, like, because, like, the tension was there, so we yeah. just, like, maybe don't text each other. But I remember texting her and just being like, whatever happens today, I love you. Like, you are my friend. I love you. Have we gotten into, like, some heated debates? Like, yeah, because we're both passionate people. But, like, we always, like, okay, pause, come back around. I love you. We're friends politics don't matter like mm -hmm. more than our friendship does you know well, and, and if you stop getting yeah. so caught up in trying to defend yourself and yeah. push your opinion you can actually learn something and mm -hmm. learning how having to, an open mind and learning how to uh be empathetic of other people's backgrounds and the way that they were raised and the things that they've gone through will actually make you a bigger better person in the long run so yeah. one example is you were i was very much like telling people like oh get an epidural get an epidural like once you get in there like get an epidural you'll enjoy it like you'll have a good like you'll it'll just be a breeze and then Brooklyn comes in and she's got all this research <laughs> and she's like actually this 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 and this and my first response was it well it was like oh that's interesting like let me go look that up for myself let me mm. let me see what that means I'm not having another baby but <laughs> I was like you know what that's such a good point and if I were to have a baby again I probably wouldn't have an epidural so yeah. you can learn something yeah and you just no judgment <laughs> whether you have had yeah. one or not. Like, that's your own preference. Absolutely. Um, I was also going to say, like, I'm also of the opinion that you just shouldn't be shoving your beliefs down people's throats. Mm -hmm. Like, your way is not the right way. Um, maybe it's the right way for you, and that's all that matters. And I know people get really passionate about what works for them and what mm -hmm. they, you know, believe in, and they want to share it with other people. But there's a total difference in sharing what you think and your thoughts and, you know, how you live your life and what you find to be like a source of inspiration or whatever and there's a difference in um trying to change people to believe mm -hmm. and think like you do which is mm -hmm. just that's not being respectful to someone else yeah. in that delivery right and i think that like you need to lead by example if you want mm. people to respect what you have to say and if you want people to believe or at least give it a second thought, then you need to show and you need to live that. So, like, if I were super mean to people and walking around, like, shoving my beliefs in their face and mm. nobody's going to want to listen to me. They're just going to want to defend theirself, themselves. But they see me, like, loving and caring about people. They're going to be like, well, what's up with that chick? Like, why yeah. is she so good to people? And then that could op that could open up a gateway to you sharing your beliefs or your, you know, whatever your truth is. So... Yeah, no, I agree. It's like, you know, I'm, I am a person of faith. Like I personally am a Christian, whatever you believe in, that's great. Like mm -hmm. I don't judge that, but I also don't push that like down people's throat. Like, you know, right. the term like Bible pounder, like exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I really have a hard time with people like that. Cause it's like, it just gives all of Christianity like a bad name, you know, Absolutely. or like, what's that? That's so funny. That meme where it's like, or there's it's like a sound of like this guy chasing after someone. He's like, wait, sir, I want to talk to you about our Lord and Savior. Like, why are you running from Jesus? I'm like, running from those people too. Like, yeah, I'm don't be that person. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian as well and I'm married to an agnostic. Like, yeah. I mean, it doesn't get much more, I mean, I guess it could get a little more opposite, but I mean, we both just respect each other's opinions and, our, and we value each other and we, he's the most trustworthy, like, I mean, he's more moral than most Christians I've met. So... Yeah. You know, it's it's how it's who you are. It's not it's a good point. It's not what you stand up for and yeah. yell and scream from the rooftops. Right. It's how you live your life. So Cuz you can be mm -hmm. a good person and not be a person of faith, whatever faith that is. You can be a really good person and be a Republican and you can be a really good person and be a liberal. Mm -hmm. Like one time I was not to like you talking about church, but I was at this church service and it was like during elections and the pastor goes, "There's no Republicans." 
in heaven. Yeah. And he pauses and he goes, there's also no liberals in heaven. And he just was like, look, like, God doesn't care who you vote right. for. Like, there's oh, no I was like, politics. where is this going? Yeah, there's no politics <laughs> he got in your heaven, attention. right? Yes, yeah, and exactly. so I was like, ever since I heard that message, I was like, that's such a good point. Like, it's yeah. about humanity. It's about people Absolutely. and loving yeah. each other. And, like, there's just so much freaking hate and, and division in the world right now. So it's like, judgment. calm down. Like, I mean, can we all just get along? Like, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Right, yeah. We're plugging. We need <laughs> Pause. Oh, oh, Andy's here. <laughs> and his flowers. My husband's here with flowers. That's so nice of you, Andy. You to bring me flowers. Pop in. Hi. All right, so, like, one more thing just to add, like, and then we'll get off the religion part of it. But yeah. I just recently, and granted, I'm a Christian, too. Gone to church my entire life, like, raised, ca raised Catholic, Christian. Mm -hmm. And I had a pastor's wife recently just tell me that my walk and my faith was not strong because I wear a mask. Ooh. I don't wear a mask all the time, but, like, I wear a mask. So, you know, even Christians get judged by Christians. Yeah. So and you have very specific reasons. Like, you have... I have autoimmune it's issues. It's none of her business. Right. It's also yeah. none of her freaking exactly. business. Yeah. You could wear it's a true. mermaid costume to church every Sunday yeah. because you think it makes you a better Christian. And if that makes you happy... Exactly. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Who the fuck well, cares? Yeah, and exactly. Jen and I... The liberty... She thinks she has the liberty to come up and... Like, oh, to and tell. she's a pastor's wife. So, like, That's, I'm like... Yeah. Yeah, I just, I not cool. I, I was like, okay. The judgment is yeah. not, It's okay. unreal and it's so hypocritical. Yeah. No, I was going to say, like, Jenna and I work together in the salon, and she, like, is very big on, like, she has health issues. Her daughter, you know, has asthma, so she was big on the masks. And I'm over here, like, I don't freaking care. Like, I'm not wearing a mask. And, like, we can still work together and Absolutely. be fine. Absolutely. And I would also be respectful and make sure if I was around her and her guests that I was wearing a mask out of respect, not because... I was, like, fearful or, like, didn't, like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, we love can, and respect each other. Exactly. Period. Yeah. So, yeah, get you, it together. You Be should, nice. You people. <laughs> you Dang. Feel, I know. And that brings me to, like, it's time that we start, like, just treating people as humans without looking at their labels first. Mm -hmm. Like, That's are good. you vaccinated? Are you a Republican? Are you Democrat? Are you this? Are you that? It, no, it doesn't matter. Like, those things, irregardless of someone's, um, political standpoint, or color religion, of skin. color of skin, yeah. gender preference, how yeah. large they are, how skinny they are. It does not matter. Who you sleep with, we don't care. Right. You need to treat people with respect and love and treat people how you would want someone to treat you. Like, mm -hmm. I swear that's like the one first thing that you learn, like from mm -hmm. your parents, right? Like share and treat people the way that you want to be treated. Like Hopefully. not enough people these days are stopping and thinking about how would I feel if I was judged for for the color of my skin or for this or that or, like, who I voted for. Like, it's just mm -hmm. getting to the point it's out of where it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, and by saying this, I'm going to out myself on clearly who I voted for, but I was called a racist because of who I voted for. And, I mean, you can probably look at my Instagram and guess, like, who I voted for. And, like, if you hate me for that, I, I'm sorry. Like, like I said, my best friend and I have different views. We still get along. Like, it's just opinions, you know? Um, but it, that was really hurtful. Like, being called a racist, that is not a light subject. No, like, it is not. Like, that's a very serious thing. And, like... You can't judge somebody's have... entire life off of a little snippet on Instagram yeah. and expect them to put every friend that they have, every interaction they've had with somebody. Like, you cannot... We have to stop judging each yeah. other by our social media. And I have friends of color, of different races, and I'm like, that just, like, it, I don't know. That that was a tough one. It was like, wow, like, you're going to say that I'm a racist person mm -hmm. because of who I voted for? Like, I don't vote for personalities. I voted for, like, the policies that I agreed with. Right. right. My own personal reasons. And... You know, it just, it sucks that people go there. Like, I don't care what freaking color your skin is. If you're a good person, you're a good person, and I like you. If mm -hmm. you're rude and you're a jerk, I don't really care what color your skin is yeah. then, too. Like, yeah, it's totally just agree. about being a good person. Like, yeah. you know, and people just, they just need to back off a little bit. A lot of people also need to stop drinking the Kool-Aid. Like, there's a lot of <laughs> stuff in the mainstream media that, uh -huh. or it doesn't even get talked about in the United States that's happening in other countries, whether it's mm. politics or mm -hmm. wars or starving children or whatever. There's things that we don't cover here in mainstream media because it doesn't fit their agenda or like what yeah. they're trying to do or push on people. Mm -hmm. And that goes again to research like all your own stuff and like mm -hmm. figure out what you really believe in because I've heard a lot of people parading around their opinions, but 
they're not even true or factual or there's nothing to Researched. like... Researched. They're just copy-pasting. Right. Copy-paste. They're, copy-paste. They're, copy-paste. They're, just, they're repeating mm-hmm. what they've heard and, you know, you'll ask and, you know, see what they have to say and they don't have mm-hmm. anything beyond that to say. Mm-hmm. They just are a parrot mm-hmm. and say the one thing and you're like, hey, but did you know about this and, like, what's your source? Like, mm-hmm. trying to have a friendly conversation yeah. and they don't have anything else and it's just shocking to me, like, the, the amount of people just believe what they hear. One just example. Just defensive and name call. Right. Here's yeah. one example. So I've been remodeling my house now for four months. Um, I had a microphone on this microphone right here on camera. Mm-hmm. It had one of those black fuzzy things over it. And um, our whole floor in our like, like kitchen, everything is cement right now. Our puppy, Piper, pulled it off the table and ripped this, like, black microphone into shreds. And it's all over the floor. And it was in the background of one of my Instagram stories and this, like, drama page on Instagram. Um, Wait, a drama page? What does that mean? They yeah. basically just talk crap about people. Like, oh, they nice. watch all your Instagram stories. They try and just catch you slipping up in some way or being a bad person. Or Don't they have what better things to do? Yeah, a way to spend your time. So check right? it this out. They posted me on their page saying that I had dog shit laying around my home. <laughs> I mean, that is the reach. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, And then people came to me. And I was going through a miscarriage at the time, and it was really not a good time. I had people sliding in my DMs, sending me barfing faces, calling me disgusting. Well, shame on all you people that did that. Yeah, wow. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just like, I mean, part of me was like laughing, and the other part of me was like, the fact that I'm important enough <laughs> for this person to like just reach through and grab uh-huh. that a black microphone piece all over the floor yeah. was animal crap. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would let animal shit sit on my floor. Like, yeah. it was just shocking to me. So, that just goes to show you how many people just globbed onto that with no facts, no nothing, mm-hmm. and just came to my page to tell me how gross I am yeah. because of that. Just hide behind right. their little computer. I was and... shocked. Yeah, so after filming one of our first episodes, we got a comment from someone who called Kristen a slut, like, when we were talking about, like, how we lost our virginity. And so... And so what if I was? <laughs> well, no name. She likes my so choice. Much. My yeah. choice, my body. You want to be a slut? Be a slut. Hey. Yeah, exactly. And apparently I'm a liberal, liberal whore. Yeah, Jenna got called a liberal whore. And on just... what basis, I'm not sure, but good research. No idea. <laughs> People and even just... if you were, who cares? You're allowed I'm not to sure be. Whore. <laughs> Maybe, are you a Republican whore? Are you a liberal whore? Are you a Green Party whore? And know. that is the last negative comment that will ever be getting any attention on this channel. Yeah, but I not, do, we aren't your platform. No. No. Um, but the, just to, I don't know, like, I could probably talk about this for days, but, like, it just, can we just get back to, like, smiling at people mm-hmm. and loving people and being kind? Like, you have no idea what people are going through. So and true. like you have no, you just have no idea what a difference it makes just to smile at someone, to do an mm-hmm. act of kindness for someone. But sound like you're at the park. Yeah. Like, do, what do you, you mean? guys notice that when you go walking in the park, people wave at each other. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, like if you're jogging. Yeah. You're, you're like, like hey. wave, or yeah. you're in your neighborhood, you wave to your neighbor. Like Nick, but then Nick you... is so good at that. He says hi <laughs> yeah. to everyone. Literally, I didn't even see this happen yesterday or no, two days ago. We were walking from the grocery store to our car and there was this lady sitting in the passenger seat like bent over trying to do something and after he went over there to help her, she had like um, a brace or something she was trying to put on her shoe Mm -hmm. and so she she was by herself and couldn't put it on so like Nick helped her like put it on and she was like so happy that like he did that and just like... People are afraid to talk to each other anymore. Yeah, They're yeah. afraid Guys to Guys are help. afraid to ho- open the door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. If we all just sprinkled a little bit more love and kindness. So, remember that for the holiday season. Because everyone's going to be around people yeah. that you don't agree with. That you're going to be around people that judge you or make little mm-hmm. comments about your weight, your hair, your this, your that. Try to just let it go for your own peace of mind and, like, yeah. keep a peace. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's going to torment you. Mm-hmm. Right. I, um, I heard this story that was really powerful. It talked about in Africa, there's black ants and red ants. And they are like very, if you put them like in a jar together, they're very peaceful and they like leave each other alone. Except if you shake it. But if someone shakes Mm. the jar. We're getting shook right now. I shouldn't be doing this motion. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry if you're on film. Never mind. Shaking the jar or whatever. But if you shake the jar, then they fight to the point to where all of them are dead. Like they kill each other. And I feel like 
regardless, like we Such said, of, point. like, where your views are, like, on politics and things like that, we can agree that, like, the media does no good. Like, they're no. just freaking shaking the jar, the government, whoever, like, people are shaking the jar, and... I feel like they're trying to divide us because... They're putting us against each exactly. other. Exactly. Absolutely. Because people, we are stronger when we are united. Mm -hmm. And if we could just come together and be united as human beings, as civil, good people, and, like, love each other, then the government, the media, whoever is going to be scared of that. And so it's like, that's... Can people just stop shaking the freaking jar? Well, they're or not going to... stop letting them. Exactly. Exactly. That's more... We just need yeah. to be aware of it and, yeah. and see that that's exactly... I mean, it's so hard to, to deny that that's what's happening because there has been mm -hmm. legit one thing after another for the past two years that yeah. people, I mean, big things between like, you know, who we voted for, race. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's gone on and on and it's like, we need to wake up and stop being manipulated. Yeah. Like, and mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm always going to like push the boundary. I'm just going to say this. No one thought that like what happened to George Floyd was okay. Like, mm -hmm. I never heard of anyone. And no. I'm not saying that there isn't racism out there. There absolutely is. But the majority of people, like, no one was like, oh, yay, that was good. What happened? No. no. It was horrific. Like, it was horrible. And it's something that needs to unite us yes. and come together, not put color versus color, people versus police. Like, you know, there's good cops and bad cops. There's good people and bad people. That's there's... what I was going to say when you were mentioning the Christian thing. Like, it's give, it gives us a bad name, you said. And I think that's something to talk about, too, is, like, not one person doesn't define a religion mm, yeah. or a small group of people or don't define <laughs> like a career, a race, a this, mm -hmm. a that, like we are all our own individual people. Yeah. And you know, gosh, if, I mean, I've seen Christians like that on yeah. the street corners and I'm just like staring like, yikes. Um, but you know, hopefully people realize that that one person doesn't define and the, the lady who came and said that to you like mm -hmm. that would that if would, I were not a Christian you would probably be really put I off. would I would probably talk shit on Christians mm -hmm. yeah so you, yeah I mean we have a responsibility like what I was saying we have a responsibility to show the best part of what it is that we believe and what we value and when you act like that or like you know whatever you go burn things down to prove your point like you're not proving your point you're yeah. proving the opposing point yeah so and that's where I have a hard time just being like you do you and I do me because like when you start hurting people mm -hmm. that's when it's okay that's not okay mm -hmm. for anybody like we've got to rethink this and how we're going to do this intentions are so important right the intentions. intention behind something is super important and just knowing that just because one person did that you can't look at them as like oh that one Christian did that so I don't like any Christians and I'm just going to be against them forever like just as mm -hmm. an example like everyone just like we or said cops. here just what right. you say doesn't necessarily mean that that's what I feel or how I believe right like just because you're sitting on this podcast with me doesn't mean that mm -hmm. your beliefs are she's speaking for all of us right. you know right. so everyone has to be individual and you know at the end of the day respect and love and like we are going to be so much better off yeah mm -hmm. and I'll say this too because I know that you have like such a big following and I I'm very like outspoken about some things and like if you come after my girl because of my <laughs> beliefs like like I'm gonna come after you like leave her alone With I love. love her yeah you know like we said like just because I believe review something like does not mean that you guys have the same views or opinions and, and you guys are gonna see that in upcoming podcast actually we've got one planned where we're both doing something that you oh, yeah. are not participating in mm -hmm. but you'll be there and be a little cheerleader or whatever but she's not participating because of her beliefs mm -hmm. and we'll talk about that when we get to it and it's just kind of an example of like how you can respect us and we can respect you yeah. and like still sit here and have a good time mm -hmm. just because just even though our you know exact opinions aren't completely 100% yeah. aligned yeah. So, you know, just remember that, like, as you go about your day and, like, you have no idea what someone's going through mm -hmm. and just try and treat people with love, patience, kindness, and respect. And we're all practicing that. Like, I'm not oh perfect gosh. at it. No. Well, and something I'm not we even say close to, to perfect. Yeah, something we say today, we may say the opposing thing, like, you know, 10 episodes from now because we learned something or we talked to somebody else and mm -hmm. it made us open our eyes to something it's different. True. So we're going to be growing, too. So you can't... 
you're going along this journey with us. So we're all growing constantly. And that's friendship. Evolving, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're just Definitely. growing together. That's being together. a human. Like, you need to yeah. be able to change and learn, and people make mistakes, and you need to be able to, like, grow from that and not just be, like, in this cancel culture situation where nobody allows you to become a better person and, right. like, learn and, like, move on. Like, yeah. I feel like today's social media, they very much so, like, you make a couple mistakes or a mistake and they want to shove you in this mm-hmm. box. Cancel you. This is you. Yeah. <laughs> this is you now. You are the this because this is what I say and this is what I heard on a you know a channel or whatever and like that's just not treating people with love and respect like people deserve chances they deserve room to grow Mm -hmm. I mean I think everybody has said something or done something that they're not proud of no, within their lifetime. Like, sure. we're humans. We're, we make mistakes. Yeah. Like, and what person has ever apologized or grown or become a better person because you're sticking your finger in their face? Right. Like, yeah. who's going to be like, okay, no, you're right. You're, like, no. Like, you have to just talk with people and share and, and yeah. practice it. And, like, the whole cancel culture thing, it's like... I mean, the stick my finger in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want to do the action and yeah. not... Because, you know, we're right. talking to, so anyway. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> yeah, but I feel like it's... Um, like you said, it's not helping anything to, like, completely cancel people. Like, give people an opportunity to change, to grow, to learn from their mistakes, to, you know, pivot, for a better term. Like, you know, I mean, just canceling someone, like... I feel like it's almost, like, kind of bullied. Like, I feel like in school, mean girls used to do that. And, like, oh, we're going to, like, not be friends with you and shun you. And no one's going to talk to you anymore. Like, that's mean girl stuff. Like, Mm -hmm. why are we, we, like, promoting bullying people? Like, we're going to cancel you, like, on whatever level. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, Mm -hmm. have some grace for people, right? Right. You know what's interesting, too, is, like, you could have somebody attack you for the same reasons, right? Like, we'll just say, like, race. Let's just say race. And it'll be because you didn't do something that made this person feel good. But then on the other end, this person's like, you're not saying the right thing. So, like, Mm. for example, like, they'll be like, oh, you didn't post about this, right? But then you do post. And then the person, this other person who believes the same thing is like, well, what you posted wasn't good enough. And then this other Mm -hmm. person will be like, oh, well, you're just posting to pretend like you're. It's like, even when you're trying to, uh, like, help something, you still get accused for trying to help it. The wrong way so and at that point that's where you have to realize that people's judgment on you does not define who you are it reflects them because right. than you. I mean you're always gonna offend somebody you're always mm-hmm. you're gonna say something the wrong way or offend someone and they're gonna find some something something in it that mm-hmm. they have an issue mm-hmm. with And unfortunately, nowadays, it's like, it's almost like second nature for people to like, listen for something that just... Oh, looking for it. Yeah, they're just like, looking for it, rather than just like, giving you grace, kindness, and respect, and like, letting you be a human being. And, you know, that's where you have to realize, like, I get comments all the time that are just like, frustrating and annoying. I read your comments and I get frustrated. Yeah, (laughs) most of my comments, thankfully, are, you know, I have a very loving group of people. Yes, you do. But like, you know, it's just you, like, I did an Amazon jewelry haul the other day and someone was like kind of like seemed almost like kind of like a backhanded comment that was like well what about all the small jewelry companies too and I'm like okay well this isn't that video like yes I do agree that there are some you know what I mean so you can't always please everyone and so when those types of people come out of the woodwork it's good to just block them like not I'm not saying that person specifically I just mean in general like if someone's not making you feel good and uplifting you and respecting you then you should just block them because I've had people share their opinions um, like I did a Shein video. I had no idea that Shein was supposedly this website mm-hmm. that has child labor and like a lot of bad stuff about it. I did not know that. Um, I, I didn't know that either. I literally asked my managers to tell me the drama that's going on online and what I need to know because I literally have my head down and I'm working mm-hmm. and I'm not aware of a lot of it. And so some people were really rude about it. Like I would say like two people left a comment that were like, I'm so disappointed. Like I'm unfollowing. And I was just like, whoa. And immediately I was defensive and annoyed. And then I read a comment that was like, hey, like, I love your channel. Like, I don't know if you knew this. And the way that that delivery was, yeah. I was all ears. And right. I started researching it. And I and I figured out for myself that I won't be purchasing from yeah, there anymore. Exactly. And so if you're crazy. being attacked, then you just feel like you need to defend yourself. Yeah. Can we, can we start a new movement? If you unfollow someone, 
You don't need to announce it. Yeah. There's the door, <laughs> bitch. Just yeah. go. If you don't want to follow me because of who I vote for, just go. I don't care. Yeah. If you don't want to follow Kristen, just go. <laughs> Can you stop, like, telling people? I'm going to gonna unfollow. You don't need to announce oh, your no. exit. Oh, I'm, so, oh, I'm so broken up over this one person <laughs> who's unfollowing me. Like, bye. Yeah, bye, I know. Bitch. I, There's I, the door. I, I, I totally support that. Like, spread, spread your word with love Mm -hmm. like you're going to attract more people and you're gonna get your point across a lot more law of attraction yeah (laughs) for sure exactly dude I love yeah I I love all that so (laughs) I don't know I don't know if we have anything else to say but that was like fun to kind of chit chat about that because I feel like there's just not enough love the mm-hmm. whole point of this was just there's just not enough love and there's too much judgment happening yeah. right now. One thing I was going to say, and I, I'm assuming it was probably a follower of yours who, like, saw our podcast and then came on and DM'd me. And um, she was so sweet. She's like, hey, I see that you're really outspoken about, like, your your religion, your beliefs, things like that. And she's like, um, I just want you to know, like, I feel like that's really courageous of you. And she's like, I think it's sad to say that that's considered like courage nowadays mm-hmm. to be and it is sad to just speak you know mind. so number one whoever that was I so appreciate you saying that thank mm-hmm. you for the love and support and it's sad that it takes courage to talk about who I voted for or what I believe in and it's like whether you who I don't care who you voted for mm-hmm. like it shouldn't mm-hmm. have that shouldn't be considered courage nowadays but it's sad that it is and it's like we shouldn't come after people for things that are there's no black and white like Mm -hmm. for lack of better term Mm -hmm. like there's a lot of gray area no one is right or wrong like just just normalize a difference in opinions there you go thank you yeah like bottom line Mm -hmm. like stop harassing people because they don't believe like you or you know shop where you shop or they're not thin enough or they're too thin like we just got to stop all this yeah it's too much yeah. Like, we can't go on like that. Like, yeah. it's just, it's it's just dividing us. Yeah. And like you said, we're much stronger as one, like, unit together. Right. Just so. because I don't agree with something you agree with or something that you've done doesn't mean that I'm judging you. No. You know? And I would hope that it's the same. Just because I don't, like, agree with someone's opinions. Like, I hope, like, don't judge me for what I believe in and I won't judge you for you, what you believe in. Right? Yeah. It's respect. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. At the end of the day. So yeah. go live your lives like you're at the park. Yeah. So yeah. thanks for coming to our TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think that was a good one to get out. Like, especially with the holidays coming up, like everyone's yeah. going to be around family and, you know, I get, Friends, I get, yeah. you know, yeah, I get a lot of DMs from people that are like, Hey, wh- how, how do I hang out around with my family? Like mm. I want to be with them for the holidays, but Grace. they're, they, they make, um, comments about, this or that um you know and you just have to like you just have to kind of brush it off and keep the peace and like also if that makes you feel that way maybe you need to surround yourself with different people during those times it's just up to you and what what nurtures your heart and soul and it's amazing like how if someone is having a bad day they're off and they we take it out on other people like without even realizing sometimes I just heard a lady that I know she had a story of someone at Costco this old grumpy man and he said something rude to her and she like walked away and of course was like heated about it and she just felt like you know what maybe he's having a bad day and so Mm -hmm. she went back he was in um one of those like like automatic wheelchair thingies and she was like you know can I help you do you need anything and just by her flipping the script and being nice to him in return he opened up to her and was like you know my wife's at home she has cancer and I had Mm -hmm. surgery on my leg that's why I'm in this thing and like they had this amazing conversation all the way out to the parking lot and so it's like if you have family or friends or people who are like coming at you attacking you being rude negative whatever maybe they're going through something and if you can or just send through something yeah and I hate to use the phrase like be the bigger person mm-hmm. but if you can and just extend them some grace and just be nice to them and love them anyways then like maybe that will turn their day around it'll maybe... start this cycle exactly. it's like when you're at Starbucks and somebody buys a coffee yeah. in front of you and then they buy it then they buy it like let's just start making that a pay movement. it forward absolutely yeah. start paying it forward yeah I think that's awesome mm-hmm. so Thank you guys for listening. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed, and we will be back soon with another episode. We upload every single Tuesday, so subscribe, download, whatever app you're on, do that. And And comment nice things. Yeah, comment (laughs) nice things, please. And do we talk about uh, where we're airing uh, Apple Podcasts? 
Yep, Spotify. in the beginning. Oh, yep. perfect. Okay. Yep, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and YouTube as of now. So, thanks Sweet. for watching or listening, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You all repeat, you can see shit cause you have closed your eyes You say you listen, but you're missing what it's all